Hi friends, good morning all. How are you? This is Geetika. Welcome to my mom's channel, KK Entertainment. In last two videos, we learn about digestive system and blood groups. Now, let us see the structure of human heart. First, we will see the external structure of heart. Shape. Do you know the shape of our heart? Shape of our heart is pear shape. Anterior end is broader and posterior end is narrow. Size. What is the size of our heart? Size of our heart is one's fist. Location. Where is heart located? Heart is located in the case in between two lungs slightly towards left. Protection. How is heart protected? Heart is protected by pericardium and ribcase. Weight. Do you know the weight of our heart? Weight of our heart is 250 to 350 grams. Heart is divided into four chambers, two upper chambers and two lower chambers. Upper chambers are auricles and lower chambers are ventricles. Two important blood vessels connected to the heart. They are arteries and veins. All the arteries carries oxygenated blood from heart to body parts. But pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood. All the veins carries deoxygenated blood from body parts to heart. But pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood to lungs to heart. Let us see the internal structure of heart. As we already know that heart is divided into four chambers. Now let us see how these chambers are separated and connected. Chambers of heart separated by septae. Two auricles separated by interauricular septum. Two ventricles separated by interventricular septum. Auricles and ventricles separated by Interauriculoventricular septum. Right auricle opens into right ventricle through right auriculoventricular aperture. Left auricle opens into left ventricle through left auriculoventricular aperture. Let us see the blood vessels connected to the heart. Pulmonary artery starts at right ventricle. It carries deoxygenated blood to lungs for purification. Systemic artery starts at left ventricle. It carries oxygenated blood to body parts. Coronary artery, st coronary artery carries oxygenated blood to walls of heart. Let us see the veins. Superior vena cava collects deoxygenated blood from upper body parts and bring that blood to right auricle. Inferior vena cava collects deoxygenated blood from lower body parts and bring that blood to right auricle. <coughs> Coronary veins collects deoxygenated blood from walls of heart and bring that blood to right auricle. After purification of deoxygenated blood in lungs, oxygenated blood carried by pulmonary vein and bring that blood to left auricle. 
So, right side of heart contains deoxygenated blood and left side of heart contains oxygenated blood. Let us see the valves. In between right auricle and right ventricle, there is tricuspid valve. In between left auricle and left ventricle, there is bicuspid or mitral valve. Pulmonary valve present at the origin of pulmonary artery. Aortic valve present at the origin of systemic artery. Valves prevents the backward flow of blood. Let us see the real heart. This is heart. This is coronary arteries. Let us see the internal structure of heart. This is right auricle and this is right ventricle. This is left auricle and this is left ventricle. Pulmonary artery starts at right ventricle. Systemic artery starts at left ventricle. This is tricuspid valve. This is bicuspid or mitral valve. This is right auriculoventricular aperture and this is left auriculoventricular aperture this is superior vena cava this is pulmonary artery and this is systemic artery so let us see the circulation of blood. <coughs> Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and coronary veins collect deoxygenated blood from body parts and bring that blood to right auricle. Right auricle pumps the blood to right ventricle. Right ventricle pumps the blood to pulmonary arteries. Pulmonary artery pumps the blood to lungs for purification. After purification of deoxygenated blood to oxygenated blood, pulmonary veins carry the blood to left auricle. Left auricle pumps the blood to left ventricle. Left ventricle pumps the blood to systemic artery. Systemic artery pumps the blood to body parts. In this manner, circulation takes place in human body. Bye! Let us meet in another interesting topic. Subscribe my, subscribe my mom's channel.